Tony, we see something very different at uh, Sarah Chiswick, a lot of different brochures, but tell me a little bit about the up-to-date brochure, because this is something new, and you're doing this twice a year now with new products. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Twice a year, we have the up-to-date brochure, which is basically a chance to get all our new products out to the market and show our customers what's new in, in our range. Now, we're, we're here by this machine. We've been looking at some of the new products, and one of those is your new insert. But could you tell us a little bit about what that is and actually the advantages? It's CTPX 710, which is a new turning uh, insert for us, Mark. Uh, the improvement of it is it's a very much a universal grade of, of product, so you can use it on stainless steel, steel, irons, etc., etc. So if customers are looking to rationalise their inventory of stock, they can reduce down onto this one high performance product. So really what you're saying here is, is that rather than actually have multiple changes of tools, you can actually leave that insert in and just change the grade of the material? Yeah, absolutely. It's a universal product. We've been trying to find a uh, coating and grade that could be used universally across most materials. Very important for customers if they're using uh, or machining lots of different materials and they don't want to have different grades, different geometries for everyone. This is a universal product they can use across them all. And when you look at uh, the, the, the actual grade but also the, the actual coding now, you, you guys are very famous for dragon skin. Yeah. Is, it, has this product been developed just based on dragon skin? It's both the carbide grade but also very importantly dragon skin coating. So this product has got dragon skin coating on it and is one of the big benefits of why it can be used universally. And quite importantly, it's, it, it, we should be saying that in conjunction with XYZ and also Open Mind, you've actually put this to test, haven't you, here? Yeah, we tried to do something a little bit different because obviously just showing a conventional CNMG running can be a bit boring. So what we've done is used Open Mind's max turning for this demo that you're seeing. It just shows what is it able to be done and how you can save time with different machining strategies while showing also the performance of the product. And could you give us a, a, a typical example of how, how much quicker it is on the removal rate? Well, that one particular demonstration we showed saved 1 minute 42, I think it was, on almost a 3 minute cycle. So I think it was a 42% time saving. Uh, obviously the stats will be on the, on the demo. And, and when you look at uh, developing a tooling like this, you know, is it customer led, would you say? Very much customer led. All our innovation is very much customer led in terms of this one particular product. We have a demand or need from our customers in certain sectors when they don't want to stock a myriad of different inserts and geometries. So this is very much matching a need where they only want to rationalise their stock and keep a lower inventory of stock. And talking about stock, um, do you hold stock in the UK or does it come from Germany? All this product is held in Germany in our central distribution centre but it's available 6.30pm at night order, last orders, guaranteed before 12 noon next day delivery. And, and from, from a, a last question, who do you think is really going to benefit from this? Do you think it's the, the smaller uh, subcontracting companies or up to OEMs, manufacturers as well? I think up to the, the medium-sized subcontract companies down, because what you can do is obviously if, if, if you're machining lots of different materials, turning lots of different materials, you can then rationalise your stock and save on cash which is obviously critical, and also save on time and, and complexity. Uh, for the OEM, the, the another level up again, you might want to be a bit more specific in terms of the uh, coatings and geometries. For absolutely, if you're just doing stainless steel all day, then you could probably optimise even further. But if you're using a machine in a lot of the different materials in that subcontract type market, then this is definitely worth, worth looking at. And will you be rolling out milling and grooving in the future? Yep, the plan is this is currently starting with turning, but the future is to look at milling applications, grooving applications and other applications with this technology.